everyone, Pastor Ashley here. It is the third week of Advent. It is hard to believe, but time is ticking and we are getting closer and closer to celebrating the birth of Christ on Christmas. This week, our emphasis at Holy Nativity and in our Advent calendar is about joy. The Christmas story is a story that is full of joy, right? Elizabeth, is full of joy when Mary comes to visit her. John the Baptist, the baby in Elizabeth's womb, leaps with joy when Mary is telling Elizabeth that she's going to have a baby and her baby is going to be Jesus. So there is joy right from the beginning. And then, of course, when the angels come to the shepherds, they come with much joy. Remember what they say? They say, don't be afraid. For I bring you glad tidings of great joy for all people. Right? They want the shepherds to know that the message they have is a message of joy. And I think that's how we often think about joy and the Christmas story. The joy that is ours because of what God is doing. Right? God is coming to live among us as one of us. It means that God knows what it is to be human, our hurts and our sorrows and our celebrations. Jesus knows all of it. God knows all of it because God has come to be a human. This is what we celebrate at Christmas and this is a reason for joy. But I came across a poem several years ago that I love and I just recently stumbled upon it again. It's a Christmas and Advent poem by Madeline Leangel, who's better known for the Wrinkle in Time novels. But she also was a woman of faith and she did a lot of writing about her faith and spirituality. And I want to share this poem with you and I want you to see if you can catch the interesting thing it says about joy. So this is a poem called First Coming by Madeline Leangel. God did not wait till the world was ready, till nations were at peace. God came when the heavens were unsteady and prisoners cried out for release. God did not wait for the perfect time. God came when the need was deep and great. God dined with sinners in all their grime, turned water into wine, God did not wait till hearts were pure. In joy, God came to a tarnished world of sin and doubt, to a world like ours of anguished shame. God came, and God's light would not go out. God came to a world which did not mesh to heal its tangles, shield its scorn in the mystery of the word made flesh. The maker of the stars was born. We cannot wait till the world is sane to raise our songs with joyful voice, for to share our grief, to touch our pain. God came with love. Rejoice, rejoice. So did you catch it? Did you catch the little line about joy that was unexpected? She says, in joy, God came. Which made me think that the Christmas story isn't just a joyful one for us, but that it's a joyful one for God too. That God felt joy at what was happening. In joy, God came. God saw that it was good. God was excited about this thing God was doing in coming to live among us. That this wasn't just like some drudgery mission, like, oh, you got to go down there, Jesus, and I know it's going to suck, but you can do it. God was excited, full of joy, to be reunited with the people God created, the people God loved, with us. I think that little reminder, that little switch about who in the story experiences joy, the fact that it's not just us, but that it's God too, 
I think that is so powerful because it reminds us that it is God's deepest desire to be with us, to be in relationship with us, that God is motivated by love for us. And that changes everything and is definitely a reason for our joy. Let's pray. Good and gracious God, how cool is it that you are filled with joy at the thought, at the action of coming down to live among us. That it fills you with excitement and enthusiasm to know that you are with us in our midst. Help us to remember that. Help us to know that we are not the only ones experiencing joy because of Christmas, but that you do too. To see us reunited with you in a new and incredible way brings you joy and us joy. Help us to share our joy, our joy in you, our joy in simple things, our joy in friends and family, our joy over whatever it is. Help us to share that joy in this weary, dark world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I hope you experience some joy today.